My name is Rahul, I'm the captain of FTC Team 5773, and today we're going to get started on a lot of the tools you use in FTC. And the first one we're going to talk about, I have it right next to me, our 3D printer. This 3D printer, we got it this season during the off season, and it has a variety of uses for both our robot and our outreach. Um, I'll get into the outreach uses first. This season we plan to donate 300 face shields to local hospitals. In this face shield, the visor is 3D printed. This season we also plan to donate 200 door openers to our local food bank to minimize the impact of COVID-19. And these are just two of many uses that you can use a 3D printer for outreach. Now for the robot, there are several, several things, especially for this season. This season you need a lot of custom parts that can be helpful. You can build it with normal Go Builder rep parts, but in order to customize your robot, 3D printing is definitely useful. Um, here is an example, one is chain. This chain can be used to easily wire manage your robot. In the past, our team has never really wire managed. We've just left the wires um, out on the robot. And that's been really, really negative during competitions because sometimes wires get caught, wires are not connected to the rev hub and that, that, that can end up in a mess. So make sure that you have a good way of wire managing and if you have a 3D printer, these, this chain can come in really handy. Next thing for this season, our outtake is also 3D printed. Building this sort of a curved outtake with Go Builder parts is going to be really, really difficult. And with a 3D printer, you can do any custom design. And of course, aside from robot and outreach, fun. You can have a lot of fun with the 3D printer. Um, our team embodies this word, yeet. And we printed one out. We always leave it up here on the 3D printer so that whenever anyone comes into the garage, they see it and they understand what our team is all about. Um, last thing, here we printed out a gear. Of course, this is a huge gear, which we will not be using for competition purposes. But for simple purposes, for example, um, this year for some of the mechanisms, you could be using a rack and pinion. And if you wanted to make your own rack and pinion at home, you could use a 3D printer to do so, print small gears and make your own rack and pinion. So I just listed a couple uses, and now it's up to your team to buy a 3D printer. I know they are expensive, but fundraise, get a 3D printer and it'll be of extreme use to you in FTC. Hey everyone, my name is Anand and I'm Senior Advisor for Team 5773 and today I'm going to be talking about drills and impact drivers, their differences and their uses. So a drill primarily is used for drilling into things, drilling a hole into things, right? You'd use it for making a hole in wood or a hole in metal and it usually doesn't have as much power as you would see here. So an impact driver on the other hand, you'd use for um, driving in screws into anything you want to build to attach things. This one has a lot more power and a lot more torque, and you'd use it to, if a screw is hard to get in, this is what, this is what you'd use. And both of these tools have such a large, a big variety of uses. So you can just see in this box that we have, it has drill bits for every single use you can ever imagine. Hey everyone, I'm back, and I'm here with our trusted friend, the Miner Saw. And this saw is very powerful and it's very versatile, and we use it a lot um, over here at 5773. So we made this entire workbench, as you can see here, out of, out, out of wood. And we cut that wood using the miter saw. We made these linear slides using the miter saw. See this piece of metal? We cut this into small pieces using that blade. So the, so the miter saw is a, a very versatile tool, and you can use it for pretty much any type of cut, cutting, purpose, um, cutting purposes you can imagine. And, all, and, and as always, when we're using that tool or any other power tool, we always use, safety, always use safety goggles to protect ourselves. All right, guys, I'm Waleed. I'm a member of the mechanical team. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Dremel. The Dremel is also a very versatile tool, like the other power tools. These come in a variety of models. Uh, they can cost anywhere or upwards of $100. Um, however, this is a very worthwhile investment. If you are going to get a tool um, or a first tool for your team, it should be the Dremel. The Dremel saves tons and tons of time. It has many attachments. Um, including sanding bits, grinding bits, cutting bits, um, even polishing. Um, and basically the most important sort of idea or the use of the Dremel is sanding. These sanding bits um, are reusable. They take, basically take place of the very expensive sandpaper. Sanding is also a very long and extensive process. Uh, if you've ever sanded anything before, you know that it's sort of annoying to do it. This basically saves you a ton of time whenever you're, you know, sanding, grinding, pretty much doing anything. 
Um, on top of the attachments like the drill, this also has um, these accessories which you can attach to the Dremel um, and take place of other tools. So you would not need to buy a router if you had this piece. You just stick this onto the Dremel and you could route out pretty much anything you wish for. Um, overall, great investment. If you guys are looking for a tool or if you guys want to sort of build your collection of tools for your team, this is definitely a worthwhile investment. All right, guys, that concludes our first video. Thanks for watching. You should be expecting more videos along the way. If you like this, in this video, please drop a like and share it with your fellow FTC friends and other FTC teams. Have a good day.